a little bit. Half class 83. Still a few coming from the race. I think it's uh, split two this one. A few very fast drivers in here. Take it through the grid now. Stop Brown there. Shout out to Stop Brown. Very fast. And clean. TKM Spadders. There's me, starting in seventh. Well, I'm not the tyres, something not a lot of people are doing on the grid. In fact, I don't think anybody's doing it on the grid. Don't know if it makes a difference, but I seem to do it. So I'm starting on hards, where everybody in front of me is starting on medium. I'm the first car. One half, bit of a risk, but take it. There we go. Thank you, Maniac. Shout out to you, remember that? I'm on the hard, so my line should, it won't be as good as the others around, especially in front of me anyway. The Spanish guy directly behind me is on hard too. Gives me a bit of a buffer. And so is, so is Ramit, below that. There. I'm taking it easy through turn one, making sure we get through alright, side by side in front. That seems clean up to now. So I just need to try and run 209s if possible on the hards when, when the field spreads out a little bit. Because I know these are going to pull away, these are all on mediums, so try and keep up as best I can. Stay out of the trouble behind. Behind us, got a penalty, so we're dropping off any second after this. And I'll just try and carry on, pumping in the laps, just try and keep as close as possible. So, my race comes for the second half of the race, that's when my strategy starts to pay off. Keeping it clean. So the guy behind his closing is also on mediums, but he's got a penalty just down here, so he drops off again. And I'm allowed to just keep running a few laps. Bonus here is that Doc Brown takes three stuff down as he goes off. Doc actually leaves me loads of room here, so I'll go. I actually go for the move. 
if it closes the door, I'd have obviously pulled in behind, so shout out to Doc for that. But I'm on my hards, he's on medium, so he will get back past in the not too distant future. I'm only purple there because it's lap two and everyone will be purple. <laughs> I can see Doc really closing up, so I'll just keep over to the left hand side here, let him get a run, break early for the airplane, and let him take it back, because he'll, he'll pull away anyway, just smart, smart driving, to keep his slipstream. Slipstream is only 0.8 of a second now, so it's been reduced a lot, so it is important to stay in here if you're in a hard, uh, using a hard tyre. Continue on, stealing a bit of slipstream from Doc, keep our pace up. I'm going to go to lap 7 on the hards, but I think lap 6 would have been better. Could have maybe took the win if we went for lap 6. But lap 7 is what we did. Still taking this tow down here. Just pull away a bit now, I think. Oh, they might go wide again actually in turn one. Let's find out. Two tenths are not what I'm aiming for. I'm aiming for two oh nines all the way through on the hards. Let's see Stefan's are going off again look, not having a good race. Not turn one. The docks all over the back of them now, but I'll just try and keep up as best I can. Running my own race with hards on, out the way of everybody. The guy behind is still on hards, he's, he's kind of my buffer. I'm the guy behind that too, Ramwick. Now I can push on, we've got a bit of a gap, push on in front. See if we can get that 209 I'm looking for. <clears throat> Three attempts up on my best, so looking close. I like to stay in third there. Some people go to second, but I like to keep keep it in third. A bit better traction, I find. Better tyre wear. Keeping a little bit of throttle input there too, as long as as well as the brakes, just extra good braking force and stability. Seems to work well in FF cars. See they pulled away now, but that just allows me to run my laps at the quickest I can run them, which is ideal for me at this phase of the race. I know it looks like I'm slowing down, but I'm not. I'm on a different compound of tyre. They all have to run this compound of tyre as well, so they'll be doing it later in the race. I'll be doing my medium stint, so at the end of the race I should be flying. We'll find out. Side by side into turn one, the fans has gone off again, look. Sorry, I shouldn't have. Just didn't have the best race. Keep it nice and steady around the S's. I love, I love Suzuka, these S's. Keep it smooth. You don't need to worry about fuel in this race, just gun it all the way. No no fuel saving at all, which is a better way to go in my opinion. I'm not the best at fuel saving. I'm not bad on tyres, so... Yeah, I think a couple of other people have done two stops in this race, but I every practice race I did I found that one stop was always marginally quicker and you didn't have to deal with as much 
traffic. And it's the traffic that kills it. You can't get, if you're on fresher tyres, but you can't get past the traffic, it's no point being on fresher tyres. Try and stay out as much as you can, saving your tyres, but pushing as well. See, I got the 209, look, 209.8. See if we can get another one, another one straight away. Theory. We should start catching up a bit with these drivers in front because their mediums will now be going off whereas my hards are still okay considering the hards. Pushing on quite nicely here at this stage of the race, quite happy with where we are. Excuse <coughs> me. Okay, now it's always a risky one trying to push this as much as you can. I was well wide there but you can push it a lot more than that, cut it a lot more than that. But tram it on, another 209, and adjust, but we're in there, that's what I'm aiming for, so. Can we get another? Sounds it gets around there nicely this time. Pit window will be opening. I think it's this lot, people in front are starting to take their pit stops. Lap 5 is a little bit early there. If you want to stop in, if you're two stopping it's not. I'm still free to run my laps. <clears throat> no pressure from behind, no uh, people holding me up in front, so going ideal, ideal race. Set the fastest up to now on the uh, lap 5, fastest uh, first sector anyway, sorry second. So I'm staying in third there, keeps the wear of the tyres low. Probably keep a bit of throttle on again on this turn as I'm braking. That tiny little bit just to keep it stable. Nice. I always found the overlay works really nice in FF cars. And uh, GR1 hybrid cars too, but FF are really strong when you're doing it. not too far away. Pit stop is about 8 seconds here so anyone in front less than 8 seconds away I'll uh, come out in front of for a lap or two. 209 again, my, my uh, fastest lap of the race so far, 209.7 on the hard. through the S's which I love so much. Just keep it smooth through here, no, don't push it too much because you'll just scrub your tyres to pieces. Just nice and smooth on the limit of the grip. Hugging it nice and tight to the apexes. Balancing the throttle around here for a bit of extra grip. Plant as early as you can around here. Considering one warm tyres, not too bad. Still pushing on. That's three 209s in a row. Can we make it far? I'm not quite sure actually. It's a tunable coyote up, up the top there. Not a guy I'm familiar with, but he's very fast at this circuit. Leaving the way. John OF1, everyone knows John OF1. TK and Spadders. Very, yeah, three very fast Brits at the top there. Let's see if we can join them. I believe the people in front now are going to come into the pits, lap 6. Well, I should start getting interesting now. My, my race picked up 
automatically after the pit stop. Opposite strategy to the top six players. So we're now going slow. I'll then be going quick. Race is on. So just stop round in front. He didn't pit. He's going to lap seven. I'm not sure if he's doing a two stop or not. I don't think he is. I think he's just doing a long first stop. So we're coming out. In we're in third place now, just behind Tunable Coyote. He's just put the hards on. Ideally, we just needed another half a second in front to be tucked in a slipstream to pull us along just for this lap. This is my box lap, so it would have been ideal, but just out of it, and he's on fresh hards, I'm on used uh, six lap old hards, so no chance catching that little gap there. We'll just keep pushing on as best we can, we need as, as good an in lap as we can. Remember, we're in seventh when we come in, so let's see where we'll come out. <clears throat> that Brown, I can just saw he had a penalty up front, yeah, the penalty. Don't know how long it's for, I think it's just a 0.5. But it brings in that little bit closer to us. Let's see what happens. I think he still is on his mediums if we did a, if he was doing a one stop, long medium stint and then shorter hard stint. Just losing ground to tune the bulk out now, but that's expected. Just gotta get around this uh, rest of this lap, then we're putting some fresh boots on. Ready to push. Now we've got a 2 2.10.0 the uh, lap six, so we didn't manage four in a row, but three's not bad. 2.10.0 we had, so not too bad either. Let's push as bad as we can. Late on the brakes. So I usually go to second there, but we have to miss that. Not to keep it third, and then not the best entrance into the pits ever. Could have been a lot more on it, but we're putting mediums on now, so. Time to go. So we've got a nice clear air as we come out. Just what I wanted, check the mirrors before I go over this white line here, before anyone says I cheated. Just run the tyres in nicely and then power all the way, but people aren't too far ahead so the race is on. Six laps to go until the end, I've got fresh mediums, everybody in front has got fresh hard or one lap old hard apart from Doc Brown the car in front he was on the same age tyres but still on the hard so now we're aiming for low 208s on, uh, on mediums Or if you're low on fuel, high 207s. I didn't manage to get a high 207, my low, my best was 2080, but. The 207 was in the lobby. Just taking this first lap easy on the uh, fresh mediums. Wear them in nicely, and then we're on. Yeah, I'm catching up with uh, Doc Brown now, and the two drivers in front of that. So I know they're all on hards, none of them are doing the two stop strategy, they're all on one stop, all on hards. See how I hope we can climb.
bit light there. Survived it there, we didn't lose too much speed. Uh, you need all four tyres to go off the circuit before you show us dirt on the tyres as well. So. Well, for so we're running the fastest uh, first sector there by four tenths, I believe it said. So we are on it now, catching up. And fast right to Doc Brown and the two in front, maybe three in front now. We're definitely catching up fast. We've still got five laps to go. Uh, four and a half, sorry. So we're three and a half tenths up on. Uh, first place on the purple lap, on the fastest lap. Bogged down a bit in third gear then, I needed to get the wheels spinning just a slight bit to get um, speed up, but we failed on that one, but we'll still we'll continue on. I'm going to do this bit in fourth when I've got fresh tyres on, it's third, when the tyres start wearing out a bit for the extra grip. I don't wheel spin on the exit in third, just uh, put three quarter throttle until you've got enough traction and then change to four. Full throttle. So one and a half tenths up on my personal lap, but uh, somebody else has just set the fastest lap. I think it was uh, to one hundredth away from Nine, like that. And then later on, someone else sets a 207.8. So 208.0.4 is the fastest at this point is 208.0.20. It was actually from my teammate, Digit Maniac, too. So shout out to Digit Maniac. He was on a two stop, started at the, uh, nearer the back, so he was a two stop. Got rid of his hards on the first lap. And then went for it. So it's right on the back of Doc Brown here. You can see that I'm on uh, medium tyres, so I took the wide line, so I get right off his trumpet for this uh, left hand there. And just to show my nose here, um, I would have backed out if he didn't, but fortunately he backs out there, so shout out to Doc Brown. You can see that I was the faster car at this part of the race. So it lets me go, uses my slipstream as best it can. I'm on fresh uh, mediums, so uh, it's so obvious to see that somebody's on fresh mediums. So now, so after catching the two drivers in front, TK and Spadders there, he's gone a bit wide on the hairpin. Oh, good there. Very fast driver, TK and Spadders. Hounded by the Spanish car behind him. Got the both on hard, so you can see the, the speed difference. I messed that up a little bit actually, but you'll see a bit later on this 130R, I think it's got yeah. Catching right up here, showing the nose just to worry him a little bit. Never going to do a dive from there, but just to put a bit of worry into people, a bit of panic. So I'm right over the back end now. He lets out early, the Spanish guy, so. Worries me a little bit there, I get a bit close. It's all good, I saw it coming in the end. So, for the S, is much fresher tyres, I can see that I'm just staying right on the back. Can can pull away at any time if I was to get in front of these two. I nearly went for the round the outside here for the left hander, but I thought better of it. I thought the, the better opportunity will come. Not not too far away. Uh, TKM Spadders does have an issue with his wheel uh, soon, we'll see. Which is very fortunate for me and fortunate that I actually saw it coming as well. Quick reactions for that moment. 
But if I hadn't been where I was on the track, it would have been a lot more dangerous, should we say. I think the Spanish guy might have nearly let me through there, but I don't know. It was a bit too late to react to, so I just gave him a slight tap on the back and carried on. We'll see what I was on about in a minute with the old wheel. Now we've got Doc Brown right up our, uh, right behind us again. I need to be getting past these drivers as soon as I can. There's only two more laps left after this one. So I'm just showing them that I ain't going to go for a move here. They're all too close to the inside. Just going to pull over. All my line is let off early again. And then look, TK and Spadders' wheel actually paused his game there. So it made the, the Spanish driver go into the back of him, which was very fortunate for me. Unfortunate for the Spanish car. Now we're right on the back of TK and Spadders, fresher tyres, softer compound of tyre. So with two laps to go, we should be able to get past. Go to the outside here, but break early, let him think that I'm going to go around the outside and try for the cut, but it didn't work, he had it covered. Fair play, so we'll have to try and find a different way around, which is going to be in these S's in a second. So it goes a bit slow here, so I see that and I plant it and go around the outside of this first one. So I've got the inside, just got my nose enough to get the, the room I need to get the inside. So fair, fair racing there, clean, clean racing, very nice, which allowed me to get past. And now I can just look in the mirror, I can just drive away because of the, the fresh tyres. Now I'm chasing after second place, two laps, well one and a half laps to go, chasing for second place. John OF1, very fast driver. But you can, uh, you can see the speed I'm carrying now, I've got past them drivers. It's just because they're on worn hards, I'm on uh, a little bit fresher medium, still wearing out now though. But still got much more grip than the drivers on, on hards at this phase of the race. That's what I mean about if I'd have, if I'd have stopped on lap 6, it'd have been much closer. I, I might have been ahead of Jono by now and, and chasing for P1, but I'm unsure about that. Never know. Might have been put back into too much traffic, but when I looked at the mini map, it seemed it would have been okay because everybody else is just behind pit on lap six as well. So I think I would have still come out and clearer. But anyway, I didn't. So made the, made the best of the situation we've got one more lap coming up can I catch up with John OF1 it's a little bit wide there a bit of a wheel spin so not ideal but not the worst neither so you can't see anyone I just see them in the mirror now in the back so pulled away massively I think it's about two seconds at this point two and a half maybe, in a lap, and see Johnny went really wide there, allowed us to catch up, through these S's here you'll see that I'm just going to fly up to the back of him, this long one especially, look at that, look at the difference there, half a second in that corner alone, you can hold much more speed up, up this left, left under up the hill. And then uh, after this first Degno, we'll have a lot more speed because of fresher tyres. And now, after this one, we're in a slip street. So John OF1 actually goes wide here. And I thought we could have cut back and, and got enough speed, but didn't quite manage it, but we're, we're literally two tenths off the back bumper of his car. Half a lap to go. Not many more op overtaking opportunities though, but the final chicane. Or you can launch one up there if you've got the confidence, but I obviously didn't. A bit slow on the throttle there, coming out, but we've still got a run. 
holding the inside line nice and well. John Owen knows that you can't really go around the outside here unless you've got much more over speed than what I've got at the minute. So I, I break out of it early and try and take faster pace round it because he was tight. But he holds his line pretty perfectly. There's nothing I can do from this point. Third play, John Oak takes second place. But third from that starting position. I'll take that. I don't know why you let off at the end there, I don't know, but great racing. Thank you very much for watching, uh, please like and subscribe, that's it from me, goodbye.